Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be learning about what are the components of a management information system or an MIS. So starting with the components, the first component is the data that is required by any MIS. So since a management information system uses data as its input to process it and derive information from it, so the data is the first and foremost component of any MIS. So in case of a university, this data can be the records of students which have taken admission and based on this data, it can be analyzed to produce different kinds of information for different teams and departments. The admission team can use this data to compare the number of admissions from the past year. The revenue team or the finance team will uh, focus on the fee that has been collected and how this fee can be utilized to bear the expenses of the university. Similarly, this data can be also utilized by the transport department to find out which new students require the transport or even the hostels uh, which students require the hostel facility. So data is the most important component of any MIS because only when we have correct data, the MIS will be able to compute or provide correct information. The next component of any MIS is the hardware that is required. So there are certain information systems like uh, passbook printing systems which require specific machines or specific kinds of printers that will purpose or that will solve the purpose for that particular information system only. So in case of a passbook printing uh, hardware, you need a specific printer that takes the passbook of the customer as an input and then gives the printed passbook which has the updated information of the transactions of that person's account printed on it. So hardware is also an essential component of any information system or rather an management information system. The next and the third component is the software that is present in the information system that analyzes the data, it accepts the data, the user queries and then gives suitable information as required by the user. So there might be information systems or MIS which do not require any specific hardware but Every MIS will require some software, some set of programs that accomplish the task for which that MIS has been designed. Okay, so uh, let's take an example of banking softwares. These are information systems that take the user account number and some credentials as their input and give the details of various transactions or the statement of the account as the output information. So these software the bank that is that have been used in the banks can be made to run in any kind of laptops or desktops or machines they are not really requiring any specific hardware but any particular MIS which has been developed to fulfill a particular need of an organization will have some software component a set of programs involved in it, included in it, that solves the actual task of that MIS. Now the third, sorry, the fourth component is the people or the management that utilizes the information that is provided by the MIS and takes the decision based on, the, on that information. So if for an MIS, we do not have the data, the MIS will not be able to produce the information. If the MIS does not have the software and the hardware components, then it will not be able to function in itself. It will not be able to process the data and convert it into information. And if there are no people or management involved that is utilizing the information provided by the MIS, then there is no use or purpose of developing the MIS. So all these four are major components of any management information system. Some sources also tell you that uh, the network, the business processes also form a component of the MIS, but I include those components as a part of the hardware itself. Okay, so that's all for today's video. I hope you have understood all the four components of an MIS. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.